Have you ever wondered if Gundams could actually exist in real life? What would they look like? And what would they be made of? Every disaster movie we've ever seen on television or the big screen involves the emergence of a hero who is supposed to protect the Earth and save mankind from its untimely doom. Typically, these heroes take the form of superhumans with a host of powers to help them keep the evil at bay, or giant robots who use their size, strength, and firepower to protect the world from all those who threaten to harm it. Today, we're going to see if Gundam mobile suits can actually be built by humans today. Welcome back to Technology Today, let's dive in. Now what exactly are the giant Gundam mobile suits made of, and how are they made in the anime? As we already know, a Gundam is a highly advanced mobile suit with exceptional combat abilities. They are often built to be more powerful than standard production mobile suits, and they are typically equipped with the latest gadgets and tech. The Gundam universe is vast and wide, so the condition and stature of the mobile suits depend on which series you are referring to. Generally, however, Gundam mobile suits can be made out of one of two unique substances. Luna Titanium, and Gundanium Alloy. Now remember, if you want to learn more about all things Gundam, stay up to date and informed with the hottest and latest tech, and have the world's most fascinating and most brilliant innovations brought straight to your screens, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself in the know and up to date. So what are Luna Titanium and Gundanium Alloy? Luna Titanium came about around the time that the Earth Federation designed the RX-78. They were in a search of a material that was strong and heavy duty, but lightweight at the same time. Back then, they did not have the facilities or the equipment for mass production and maintenance. Metals like titanium were not good on their own because their quality degraded over time. This prompted engineers to experiment on potential alloys to use for the construction of the mobile suits, and they came up with a new lightweight alloy by UC0064, which they dubbed the Luna Titanium. This was excellent material for the mobile suits because they were not easily destroyed, especially by projectile weapons. Projectile weapons were only able to scratch the metal alloy, which made the Xeon mobile suits machine guns practically useless. The alloy was eventually renamed the Gundarium following the One Year War to honor the RX-78-2 Gundam and its pilot for the contributions during the war. Gundanium alloy, on the other hand, is a compound that could only be made up in space because of its zero-gravity conditions. It is much stronger and much more heat-resistant than titanium, and it also does not conduct electricity. It also cannot be detected by radar. The downsides for Gundanium alloy, however, is that it is incredibly expensive and difficult to manufacture, which makes it unfit for mass production. The alloy can also only be created in space using the most advanced techniques, and the process for manufacturing Gundanium was called Genetic on Universal Neutrally Different Alloy, or GND for short. The alloy is built from lunar titanium and GND ores, which can only be found and mined from the moon. This type of material made the armor virtually indestructible. So given that those two materials are what Gundam mobile suits are typically made of, does that mean it's possible to have real-life Gundam mobile suits on Earth? Well, the short answer is yes. And no. It is possible to develop and engineer bipedal walking machines that can move around just like Gundam mobile suits can. We can also build machinery and vehicles the same size as Gundam mobile suits, which we can see in modern warfare. Just look at how massive some tanks and jets can get. Additionally, back in September of 2020, the Gundam factory Yokohama unveiled the 60-foot replica of an RX-78-2 Gundam mobile suit as seen in the original Gundam mobile suit series. The clincher? The giant robot was able to move on its own. It could walk, kneel, move its arms and wiggle its fingers so to speak. It even had the ability to open and close its eyes and turn its head. The reveal of this giant moving robot thrilled fans across the world, with many wondering about the other capabilities of this robot. We should also give props to the advancements we've seen in the robotic scene over the past few years. Engineers and scientists have been able to develop and create various remote-controlled autonomous and semi-autonomous machines that have helped greatly improve human life and have helped us discover more about the world around us. Just look at the robots we've sent up to space and down under the sea to further explore the unknown. 
However, while the machinery necessary to build something as massive as a Gundam mobile suit is readily available to us, we are not likely to develop materials for the armor that have the same properties as a Gundarium or Gundanium alloy. The RX-78 II was able to withstand the explosions of atomic bombs and emerge from the wreckage without so much as a scratch. Additionally, engineering something as massive as a Gundam mobile suit to move on its legs would take a great deal of effort and intricate programming, especially since it needs to be quick enough to move for combative purposes. Gundam mobile suits also emit something called the Minofsky particle, which powers the suits themselves. Unfortunately, such a particle does not exist in our dimension. Otherwise, all the physics of Gundam mobile suits and their amazing weapons would be possible in our world today. However, who's to say such things would not be possible in the future? What if the Minofsky particle suddenly emerges out of nowhere? You never know. What are your thoughts on the possibilities of building our own Gundam mobile suits? How do you think this would impact humanity if it ever were possible? I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know your thoughts by commenting them in the comment section below. I'll be responding to all of you who comment within the first hour of me posting this video. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out my other video called Mobile Suit Gundam, Sanju no Kizuna 2 announced JPO 2020. Since it hit the Japanese entertainment scene, Gundam has become something of a cultural phenomenon. In fact, it even celebrated the 40th year since the first episode of Mobile Suit Gundam aired on Japanese television back in 2019. The Japanese giant robot franchise is one of the highest grossing media franchise in history, raking in over $20 billion in sales of anime-related merchandise. They've even made games dedicated to the franchise. Over a decade ago, on the 7th of November 2006, Kido Senshi Gundam, Senjo no Kizuna, or Mobile Suit Gundam Bonds of the Battlefield, was launched in arcades all over Japan. The game was a Japanese arcade game that was set in the original Gundam universe, or the universe of Mobile Suit Gundam. It was a hit amongst fans and gamers because it required players to step into a pod or a panoramic optical display gaming device to do battles with other players in other parts of Japan. It was eventually commercialized and converted for use on other gaming devices, and it came out for the PSP on the 26th of March 2009. Now, the Gundam Phantom has been offered a wide range of merchandise and structures that would allow them to pay tribute to the beloved giant robot anime franchise. That's probably why the anime franchise announced the release of the game's sequel back in February of 2020, during the Japan Amusement Expo 2020. That's right, we're going to be talking about Mobile Suit Gundam Senjo no Kizuna 2. During the Japan Amusement Expo 2020, Bandai announced that the game will be launched for arcade gameplay. What will the game be about? How will it be played? And how will it be different from its predecessor? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in Mobile Suit Gundam. Senju no Kizuna 2 announced in JPO 2020. Stay connected, stay up to date.